evening, good evening, good evening, Stitchers. Welcome back to Live at Five. Okay, let's give it a moment and see if anybody joins in and we'll have some tea. Mm. Hey, Susie, you're the first. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, hi, Yvette. I need to email you back about the chops thing. Send me the details. <laughs> <laughs> so professional <laughs> hi everyone hello Annette nice to see you all lots of familiar faces oh thanks Susie <laughs> I um, I washed my hair this morning so I thought hmm, I might pop a few waves in it hi Anne nice to see you hello Grace hi everybody and Anna there we go and lovely Carol. Right, I'm not sure everybody's names out. <laughs> I'm in a good mood this evening, like a good mood. Um, it's not dark outside. I'm looking out of the window and it is not dark. Oh, I mean, by the time we've um, gone home and finished this, it probably will be dark, but it's just that little glimmer of hope that it's not pitch black at five o'clock. <sighs> it's coming, spring is coming. I'm excited because winter and me do not get on, in case uh, I haven't made that clear in the past. How is everybody? You regret buying the bag kit last week? Did you buy one, Grace, or do you mean you regret not buying it? <laughs> I hope you don't actually regret buying it. <laughs> um, <laughs> amazing reaction to purple packages last week. Thank you, everybody. Um, utterly blown away by that um yeah no words really <laughs> they will be back <laughs> not buying right that's good to hear <laughs> it's a bit like oh my goodness what was wrong with it um most of them have already have shipped out now um i've just got a couple of the bag kits are still waiting on some webbing which was unfortunately delayed um and but there are still some hoodie kits available i've got a couple of copies of the um stanton hoodie pattern i think in not 16 and I've got both sizes still in stock. Um, I do plan to do more bag kits in the future, but I can't get any more copies of the Oxbow pattern now. It's completely sold out of the wholesalers. So um, I'm gonna get in touch with Noodlehead and see if they will license PDFs and then I could PDF print them for kits. But if they don't, maybe I could do some patterns without the, uh, kits without the pattern. I have to let me know what you think. Um, and probably this week I will list a few hoodie kits without the pattern as well because once I've run out of the patterns for those we'll use up the fabric that we've got but yeah everybody loved the purple one <laughs> there's like 10 people on the uh, back in stock notifications for the purple one so <laughs> I'm sorry about that I'm, I'm actually out of the lining fabric as well but I can get the canvas again and I still have the accent colour so you know, we, we might be able to sort of recreate that kit in a slightly different format with maybe a different lining and things. So, yeah, it's not it's not over till it's over. Anyway, that was last week's news. <laughs> um, right, okie doke. Shall we get stuck into what we're chatting about this week? I've got my tea. Mm, ready for this cup of tea. It's been a bit of a mad week here. Um... Everybody's been all over the place. My daughter's been away on a residential trip with school and she's come back this afternoon. Um, and then Mr. Stitches is away with work. He's driving back now, driving back from Portsmouth. And then tomorrow we're driving to Birmingham to go to the Stitches trade show. So we're literally, you don't go anywhere. And then all of a sudden, everybody's all over the place. <laughs> You're back on the bus again. <laughs> I love this. Right, okie doke. Why is my watch falling off? So I thought this week I would have a chat about a few of the projects that I would sew if I had the time. <laughs> so part of the problem with this job is that I'm often over-inspired. Um, people come in and I'm showing them things in the pattern box and we're getting fabrics out and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I want to sew that. But I don't have actual time. So um, at any one time I've got five or six projects floating around in my brain that I can't actually get to so I thought I'll pull them out and we'll have a chat around them. Some of them I might actually get to making at some point. 
Um, but they're all actually planes, and I would say that these are actually quite wardrobe buildery type project ideas. So I figured that might be fun to talk about. Um, I'm gonna go in <laughs> with um, with this green, and I know we've had this out on lives before. <sighs> Nick, you can't have the dress. <laughs> um, but. Oh, you're at a sewing retreat. Nice. Oh, yes, I know. Yes, sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with this green and this viscose linen blend we have had on live before. Um, but I really want to make slash own slash wear a pair of cargo pants. Now, I was born in 1985 do the maths that makes me 39 this year um and so i was a child of the 90s and the cargo pants trend was it was chef's kiss then i loved my cargo pants i and i had them in like i used to have like a jean skirt like a full length cargo pants skirt as well loved it super baggy mc hammer style with the big pockets and everything so i'm actually quite excited to see those styles make a return <laughs> um, and I want another pair but I keep coming across this new look pattern every time I open the book and it's 6055 um are you still with me there because it's oh there we go it said we dropped out for a moment um yep 6055 and there's quite a range of options actually on this pattern we've got pants and shorts and we've got cuffed bottoms here now I would like to make them with an elasticated cuff so this is not quite perfect but what I do like here is the elasticated waistband and the drawstring that looks comfy it's like joggers but woven but I'd like the bottom to be elasticated so open to suggestions if you know of anything that would work because I was looking before and I don't know if will this show up I was looking at you just getting my ring light <laughs> it's so me something and they do a pair of ariel uh, trousers and they look to fit the bill so yeah a cargo pants with an elasticated cuff and an elasticated waist in an ideal world but in this lovely um viscose linen blend which i will bang on about until the cows come home because it's just fab and it's got um it has got some spandex in it so, as you can see there, but that classic sort of khaki collar. Have I seen the Tremplin by Maison Fauve? No, I'm going to type it in now. <laughs> because I always do these videos and then forget what everybody suggested. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Excuse me while I Google things. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, maybe. They are a contender. They've got a proper waistband, haven't they? I think the Ariel ones have as well. Would really prefer elasticated. Oh no, that's elasticated in the back. So that's better. Not fussy. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> so yes, cargo pants, absolutely. I really would like some. I kind of think with um, t-shirts and just nice white pumps. It's just perfect for sort of spring and when we're talking about that kind of wardrobe buildery type staples definitely definitely a good basic so mm. don't feel like that one is too far in the distant future but this is a nice pattern and i do like the shorts so if we could get the fit for the pants and the shorts would be pretty easy to whiz up afterwards as well so to go with that and I, what I think would make actually quite a nice pairing um, would be a kind of oversized loose fit denim shirt. I was in, I went to Kendall on Monday to meet a friend. No, there's no big announcements, Mary. <laughs> You're all right, nothing, nothing serious going on tonight. Um, and we were looking around the shops and we went into TK Maxx and they actually had a children's denim shirt. And I was like, oh, I'd like that in, in my size. <laughs> but in a, like a pale wash. So I've been looking at the, I've been eyeing up the six ounce denim this week and thinking, hmm, that would make a nice, a nice sort of oversized shirt. Um, 
And I did pull out Simplicity 9859 with that in mind. And this is quite a nice one because it has, it goes to, oh, it goes up to a 57 inch hip and it's gender neutral. So I like that about it. And it's got some sort of traditional kind of Western style detailing on the York there, which is nice. I think with some pearl snaps, that could look really, really good. Right, let's just clear something up in the comments. <laughs> this fabric is from maybe two years ago on this dress and I don't have any more and I can't get any more. So don't come after me unless you're going to come and actually chop my skirt off. No, <laughs> you can't have it. <laughs> um, if I see anything like it, I'll pick it up for you. <laughs> but leave my dress alone. Um, it's an indigo though. <laughs> you can make your own indigo. Um, yeah, so I think the six ounce would be nice for that. And I think as well, if we paired together, feeling an outfit coming on here, the uh, nice comfy, going for comfort today, the cargo pants with a nice tee or maybe a vest underneath and soft denim shirt over the top. I could see that working. I think that's nice. And again, very sort of mix and match. Maybe this is feeling a little bit like a spring capsule wardrobe. Maybe. Can we talk about the subject of the live and not my dress? <laughs> this dress was in the um, it was in the shop window next door for a while actually. Oh, I think I've just drunk some fabric. Eh. Yeah. So I like that, and I like that. Okay. What else am I feeling at the moment? <clears throat> You'll not make me laugh. More denim. <laughs> Every time I pass the indie pattern wall, if you haven't been in the shop, I keep all the patterns, the independent patterns, like on on the wall, on shelves, so they look very pretty. I keep looking at this. Um, this is the True Bias Riley overalls. I hope you can see it. Um, <laughs> peeping out from behind. <laughs> um, so very classic set of dungarees and I really like the design details in these. If I flip it around you might be able to see the line drawing a bit better but you can see we've got all this pocket detail going on and crossover straps, straps, straps on the back. Very very nice. I could see this being a really enjoyable sew and I think depending on what you make it up in you know it's it could either just be a traditional denim set or you know you could even go with something linen-y and go for something a bit softer something with a bit of a wild print on it sort of make it a bit more jazzy i think it's got some really good potential and the little play suit version is cute too i would make the full length um <laughs> yeah perfect for your allotment and you know in something like a twill or a drill really sort of utility. Um, I've got my eye on this eight ounce denim simply because I really like the colour. It's such a nice vibrant blue. It's not a dark heavy indigo. I'm kind of hoping that shows up nicely on there. Um, but it's, it's a nice, I would call this an in-between weight. It's not a lightweight but it's also not the thickest and heaviest so it wouldn't be a really stiff set which I think would make them Personally speaking, I think that would make them really comfortable to wear. Um, they'd be quite soft. Um, but it's also a nice weight for dresses as well, this. It's, it just does a bit of everything. And you could even do the shirt in something like this. But I think in those, it'd be really, really nice. Um, wouldn't wear it with the denim shirt, I don't think. That could be a little bit double denim. Or isn't that back in? I'm not going back to like the bewitched days. Right, um, what else did I pull out today? I was all inspired this afternoon. I might actually make this up quite soon, but I don't have a pattern. So I wouldn't mind your help with a pattern suggestion. Um, this is the Alpine Fleece in Silver Mal. So if you don't know what the Alpine Fleece is, I know I've shown it before, but quickly. It's a sweatshirt in and it has a fluffy back, basically. So instead of your standard sweatshirt in, it's got this nice fleecy, fluffy, incredibly soft reverse, which makes it very snuggly. Now I've got a piece of this upstairs pre-washed from last year that had 
it had a fault in the bottom of the piece. Um, so I kind of kept it and put it to one side, but I'd like to make a pair of joggers that again are elasticated, like an elasticated cuff on the bottom, but I'm not hitting on a pattern that I love. I'm thinking maybe the Closet Car um, Plateau. Do they have an elasticated cuff? Somebody let me know, because <laughs> I don't have a copy in stock at the moment to check, but I know that's not the most springy thing, but I do keep looking at it and thinking, hmm, I want to make those up. Um, and then finally, on this little section, <laughs> there's no way I would have time to make this up, but it keeps catching my eye. Really, really keep looking at the trench coat fabric. Um, and I know you've seen this before, but I'll show you quickly again. It, this is the sand colour, a very classic um, trench coat fabric. This is water resistant, so it's going to keep a bit of a shower off you. <laughs> um, but I keep sort of eyeballing that and thinking about Simplicity 8554. Um, if you've been here for a long time, this is the coat that I made maybe two years ago. And I made it in like a soft coating fabric. It, this pattern is technically for lightweight trenches, not what I made it up in. Um, but I keep looking at it. And then I've been looking at others as well. There's, um, I, can't, I can never remember the names, which is why I've saved it on here. Yeah, named. Is it named or is it named? I don't know. <laughs> named. Named clothing do um, the Isla Trench. Can you see that there? If I just tilt it that's got the buttons down the front so that will be lovely but that's a big project and I really don't think I've got the time to bite that off but again this is just what's spinning around my brain so let me know what you think oh the plateau do dilly carol thank you that's handy it might, it might have to be them can we get those on pdf do you think So, those are my, what I would sew if I had the time right now. <laughs> and then that changes week on week. Okay, time for something new. <laughs> Here's one I prepared earlier. So, this is a minor departure from dressmaking fabric. However, it crosses over and it's for good reason. Um, I don't generally stock quilting fabric I'm not a quilting shop I'm definitely a dressmaking shop <laughs> but um this line of Dia Stella fabric I just think is gorgeous and you do get some crossover with the quilting fabrics I think I think when you're looking at things like bag linings and children's clothing some of the prints are just perfection so <laughs> these actually arrived today as as like a bit of a surprise delivery and um oh my goodness I am in love with this one on the top I cannot tell you so I've got two ranges here from Dia Stella and it's not the, f the full ranges um I was quite sort of curated in what I picked out I didn't go with all like the blenders that you get in a full quilting range I didn't go with the panels and all that I just picked the nice prints that I felt might cross into dressmaking and, and bag making basically <laughs> But look at this. If you are a cat person, this is just, I'll dip it in my tea. This is just amazing. Look at this. <laughs> so if you can see it, it's like people sat in chairs with the cats crafting. I mean, it's me. <laughs> this is, I sent this to my husband. And I was like, look, it's me <laughs> with my cat Ray. <laughs> um, so yeah, just utterly adorable. I mean, I would make things for the house in that. I would definitely make sort of little cushions and bits and pieces, or even something like knitting bags, that kind of thing. Hi, Rebecca. So yeah, I, I was just, oh, it's so cute. Why are people knitting and with cats? <laughs> I'm a very simple soul. Um, and then also there's a couple of sort of sewing and crafting notion related prints which I think as crafters just always go down a treat and literally I would wear a dress in that I think that is cool <laughs> it could be like a uniform so we've got 
um, obviously sewing notions and some knitting wool here and a bit of embroidery and that is just so sweet isn't it on this sort of very deep teal base very very nice so obviously being a quilting weight they're only 45 inches wide so just bear that in mind if you are ordering um, these are only half bolts as well I didn't opt to get meters and meters and meters because I thought we'll see how we go but yeah just stunning you can make dresses with these Nick there's absolutely no reason why not they make nice dresses I've made plenty of garments with quilting cotton over the years it has its place <laughs> anybody else a cat lover or is it just me just me that's like a crazy cat lady this evening um oh that's upside down okay now this one's more of a charcoal color but again we've got the cats <laughs> i think the rep was like hey when he saw me <laughs> i'm like yay so cats and glasses that are doing embroidery i mean you know what's not to love <laughs> they, they don't come with dogs on sorry michelle i do try and pick dog stuff up when i see it but <laughs> oh excellent i'm glad you like them just cute make me smile make my little girl smile as well um okay doc and then we've got the sewing notions again but in white even if you had like a small window this would make like a nice blind um they're just so pretty and lovely quality as well which you always get with a good a good quilting brand you know the quality is sort of undeniable so yeah really nice i mean that would make a lovely something like a sewing machine bag or I mean, I'd, I'd make like a project bag for my knitting out of that. Really, really nice. But you can't go wrong with a good sewing related print. So that's the, um, oh, what's it called? I've forgotten what the range is called. Sew so time or something like that. <laughs> so professional. Yay, cats and crafts. Um, and this next range is more of a nursery theme. So I'm going to lift that up so you can see it on the haul. I know we get a lot of people that come in that are looking for little bits and pieces to make garments and gifts for new babies. Yeah, an overlocker cover would be lovely. Um, and I feel that these are very sort of gender neutral. They're not one way or another. I didn't find out the gender of any of my babies. So when I was crafting, when I was pregnant, um, I liked all the jungle and safari stuff because whatever you have then it just fits doesn't it um, and in particular elephants but oh, that was like 12 years ago <laughs> where does life go so we've got this lovely little safari print here this range is called Noah's Ark you could wear this and things even like like little dungarees little dresses little rompers oh but yeah Animals two by two on that one. Quickly whiz you through these. Um, because they're fairly self-explanatory. We've got um, an animal alphabet. Also cute. I used to have framed animal alphabet prints on my son's nursery wall. Now he's at secondary school. <laughs> um, little rainbows. Which again, you just cannot fall out with. That's on white. It's looking a little bit yellow on screen. It's definitely on white. And then we've got this um, nice sort of subtle print going on here in two different colourways with, with the animals in the arc. And finally, we've got those same sort of animals, but do like the muted tones in this. Very nice. Very soft and gentle. Not those kind of classic pastels so yeah if you're sewing for your kids your nieces your nephews your grandchildren your friends kids <laughs> anybody <laughs> lovely I mean I, I would have said even like a little boy's shirt and that would be so sweet really really nice and I think being that neutral way if you had boys and girls you can coordinate they could be a little bit mix and match so so yeah, they're all in the new arrivals section. Um, and like I say, just slightly different, but do cross in nicely. For this week, that's enough 
prattling on for me half half an hour wow you're all jumping on those bargains the problem is by the time this gets to youtube i will be in trouble with the youtube crew so <laughs> thank you everybody um if you are local and you're coming to the shop tomorrow i'm closing at two o'clock because we've got to drive to birmingham so just bear that in mind um and I'll take, I'll put plenty of things on my stories on Sunday of all the things that are at the show, all of the temptation that there is, just hoping to get some inspiration. So let me know if you want to look me to, ugh, for me to look for anything while I'm there in particular that you think we should have in. Let me know what you think of the new fabrics and yeah, have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in and happy sewing and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.